Hi there. So after the overwhelming success of my last video, and um, by overwhelming success I mean that one of my friends messaged me asking me if I could do uh, another video using the same tactics but hunting herds so he could get an idea of distances and things like that. Um, I thought I'd actually do that video and, and pop it up there for, uh, for my friend but obviously for anybody else who was struggling with this game as I was when I started out. So, this video is going to kind of follow on from the previous one. We're going to be using very much the same tactics, the ambush tactics is the last one, and hunting a herd. So what I'd like to show you is an example of how effective I feel this can be. And if you look here in my hunting log, in the space of about an hour, um, you can see that I've got about 15 to 18 kills there, mainly fallow deer. Um, but as I said, I, I find it a lot more useful than uh, just stalking these. Um, so something else that may be useful, um, it's probably obvious but I'll show you anyway, is maybe some of the perks that I'm using. So I, I found the ambusher uh, skill tree to uh, to be the most useful rather than stalker. And the, the kind of perks that I've, I've specced into are the ones to do with lures. Um, so I wanted to get the fatal attraction, was the first one I was aiming for, um, to give me an increased chance of luring animals and then as I get a higher level, I'm only only 14 at the moment, but as I kind of get a higher level I'll be specking into some of the later ones. Now I've skipped ahead a little bit here and the first thing we want to do is actually find a herd um, which is what I've got here, so if, if you look um, you can see there's lots of tracks around me I've changed the default colour, um, so my uh, colours are now the default blue for the active track, but I've changed the um, inactive tracks from white to pink. Um, and as you can see, there's a lot of tracks around me, so I'm, I'm following one of the set of, set of follow tracks, but all the pink tracks that are around me are all the follows that are in, with it in the herd. So now that we've found the herd, I've actually caught up to it, and as I said, using the tactics from um, my other video, um, please watch that if, you, if you're a bit confused at this point, uh, what I have done is, I mean, I've got myself into a nice bit of cover, um, I found the herd and I used my lure to, uh, to get that herd to come over to me. Um, as you can see here, the animals, once you're in cover, um, the animals will come actually really close to you. Um, they've got to be pretty much on top of you before they'll spook, um, but you can lure them over really close. And what I wanted to show here was was actually not only do they get close, but when when you kill them or spook them off for whatever reason, um, you can actually lure them back as well. So as I said in the previous video, one of the mistakes I made when I first started playing this and and. I, I was struggling with this game, I'll be honest, um, when I first started. Um, one of the mistakes I made was there's a, a mechanic called hunting pressure in the game. Um, so when you when you make a kill in an area, um, you apply hunting pressure to that area. Now I thought that um, by applying that pressure, um, animals that I, I am hunting at that point in time will, will move away from that area. I thought that they will disappear, they'll get out of there and I'll have to hunt them down and track them down. That's not the case. Uh, it seems to be that the way that the AI works is that the animals want to stay in that area so they'll, they'll um, sprint away um, but they only seem to do that for about 50 or 100 yards so as you saw as you saw there when I was looking down my scope they actually just run down to the end of that road just, just ahead of me um, and then they, they calm down. So now what I'm doing is I'm using my caller to uh, to call these animals back over to me as well. So if we watch, you should see that they're, they're slowly making their way to me. Um, using the caller, um, again as I said in my previous video, the tooltip says that the call is effective for 90 seconds. Um, and it does seem to work, but what I have seem to have noticed is that they'll kind of start walking towards the call. Um, but then they'll kind of stop, they'll wander around a little bit and then they'll continue on. Um, I don't think there's any penalty to overusing the lure um, and if anything what I think happens is um, when they are doing that kind of wandering around bit it seems to get their attention a bit more and it seems to kind of call them over to you. So there was five in this herd, there's three left. Um, what you may be noticing and maybe why I'm killing these it's, it's worth talking about some of the kill shots 
Um, but what I'm actually going for here on my kill shot is I'm going for spine shots. So these are fallow deer. And the lure actually, the lure that I'm using here is the antler rattler to call them over. Um, but yeah, with them being fallow deer, when I was when I first started playing this game and I was hunting mainly roe deer, um, I would tend to go for the lung shot. So if the animal was side on, I'd try and hit it in the lungs. Um, and if you got the if you got both lungs, it would generally be a kill shot on a on a roe deer. Now. I've noticed by hunting these fallow deer, it's it's less likely to be a kill shot. You tend to get like a 96% kill or something. Well, sorry, not a kill shot, an instant kill shot. So it tends to be a 96% instant kill, um, which means they run off a little bit. So what I now do is I go for the spine, basically. And, and every time you hit the spine, that is a kill shot on these. So so I'd certainly recommend that if the animal's tied onto you, that you should be going for the 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 spine shot if you can. If the animal's head on, go for the heart and if the animal's facing away for you, um, I would go for the back of the neck towards the towards the middle of the back of the neck. You don't want to aim too high because the bullet will go through and hit the jaw and I believe that that loses trophy points. Um, but again if the animal's facing away from you, uh, back of the neck, that's the place to shoot it. So, as you can see, um, all those animals have come over. I load them all back over, and that's all five of them dead now. Um, I was a little bit lucky there. The animals usually, uh, I don't normally get two shots off. They seem to kind of freeze a little bit when I was killing them now. Um, so I was a bit lucky. Um, I only had to call them over three times to kill five. But, um, as you can see, it's very effective. Um, the animals don't run that far, and you can load them back in. Um, so maybe the last thing to call out is is the reason I'm going for the kill shot is, is actually if the animals, if you're doing that where you're killing the animals or you're shooting them and they're running away and they're coming back and they're running away and they're coming back uh, and they're doing that several times and then you shoot one of the animals and it's not an instant kill and it runs away, it can be really quite tricky at that point then to track it down to find the correct tracks to find the body. Um, so what I would say is if you're doing what I was doing the, and killing them all together then you should look to get the kill shots. it'll make your life a lot easier when collecting the animals. So that's the end of the video, I hope you found it useful and thanks for watching.